Have you lost anyone in your life? No. No. Have you have you been around anyone else that has lost someone in their life? No. 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 So this this is the one person in the world that has avoided death <laughs> entirely. Yes. 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 A couple. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. I know a lot of people that uh, died. Yeah. May I ask you? My mother. Yeah, I'm my father. My mother. My grandparents. Two of the people that I love. My grandma. My auntie. I lost my aunt. My grandparents. Grandparents. How long? Yeah. My father was three years ago. My mother, eleven. Two thousand and four. About a year ago. Recently. How recent? Like two months ago. A couple of years ago, when I was young. Two years ago. Ten or. 11. She's a woman, she's one in a million, she's like no other. When I was 12, so 22 years ago. What was the biggest difference between losing your mother and father? Are they different experiences? Me and my mom were a lot closer than my dad. Okay. So it's different, different thing, yeah. What happened? Massive heart attack. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that in regards to, I guess, not the situation so much, but yeah, losing, sure. losing, losing someone in that scenario? I honestly feel it's like way harder for the families and the people that are close to the people that actually died because, I mean, they're already dead, you know? Yeah. I would rather die than, like, know someone that die, you know? Oh, like, close day. Like, I think it's harder than actually to be the person that died. What have you pulled from that experience? Like, what has is, what is losing your grandparents been for you? I just think that the importance of family and, yeah. like, spending time with the ones that you love. What is the best way to be there for someone? Just, like, comforting them in the hard times. Yeah. Just reaching out, making sure they're okay. How are you doing? I understood that um, I had the opportunity to enjoy her life and enjoy her spirit. And I think that that was the most important thing. What do you think the hardest part about that was? Being the last person to find out. Oh, no shit. Yeah. What, what about being the last person to find out? Was that intentional? Yeah, because we were really close and they didn't know how to really explain. Because I was a kid, I, they didn't know how to really explain to me. Do you ever contemplate losing people in your life? And is that something you think about ever? Yeah, all the time. You think it would be hard if you lose. I'm lucky I never lost somebody which is close to me or close to me, like unexpected. So, yeah, but you all the time when you do something, you, you hope you will be never in this situation to lose somebody which is close to you, yeah. Do you remember what it was like to experience death at a young age? Yeah, I do. How weird it was. What was weird about it? You suddenly, that person was gone. You're like, well, now what? Yeah. You know? What was the hardest part about losing your mother? Nothing at all. We were contentious our whole life, but she was my mother. I loved her. We never know any problems. Yeah. But she had MS, and the situation was so, just so dismal the way she was living, I couldn't wait for her to die for her sake, and just gave also a pain in my ass. <laughs> What part about grief and death do you think is most understood, even though I'm sure it's a lot of things? The pressure to get over it and move on, and the notion that there is such a thing as closure. Is there a, a rule of thumb that you have for people when it comes to grieving? Well, obviously it depends. My rule of thumb is that there is no rule of thumb, that everyone grieves differently, there is no real time frame for grief, and to not put pressure on yourself. Are you scared of dying by chance? No. You know, I used to be, but the older I get, the less scared I am, and I never thought I'd be that way. No, I'm not, no. Uh, my life has changed over the last few years with this COVID thing, which I think is a complete and utter scam, me personally. Yes, sometimes when I see terror movies, I get a scare. Uh, so the terror movies scare you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you scared of what happened, like where you're going to be after, or the, the idea of like how you're going to die? More of the idea. Okay. It's not the after, it's just like how it's going to happen when... How I'm gonna die? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, not at all. I, I think like um, I have enjoyed my life. What do you believe happens after we die? I believe in God. If you believe in God, after you die, you will rest in peace, and God is gonna take you. Go to heaven. I go to heaven. Same belief as her? Yes. Any doubt that heaven's not real? No. I'm a Christian, so I definitely believe that we're going somewhere. Honestly, I don't know. There's so many theories about that. I just believe that we just look over our family members and friends. Good question. I have no idea, and I think that's the beautiful thing. You you don't know, so everyone can think what they what they want. You know, I'd love to know. I'd love to think we fly up to heaven, but I don't know. I hope you wear that jacket too. Exactly, right? <laughs> you know how many compliments I get on this? Is that your go-to? It's my always, okay. and it's warm. Let's talk about death baby let's talk about you and me shaking our booties shaking our booties shaking our booties <laughs> you guys want to talk about death <laughs>